we are on empty. So we're gonna hope and pray that we can make it to the car. Hey guys, we decided to stop here at Walmart and do some last minute Christmas shopping. But before we do that, my wife is saying I am hungry. So she's gonna grab her a sub and I think I'll get me some Powerade or something. Then we'll uh, get the fuel we need to go do some shopping. Cheers. My wife bought me something special. Because now that was my condition, it's hard for me to eat a regular food. So she bought me a cookie. It's nice and soft, so I should be able to eat this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I've learned that when you're in a wheelchair, you need to pick the right time to go and the right store to go to. You want to pick a time that's not real busy and a store that's uh, usually not crowded and not hard to navigate. So we're going to go look for some Christmas presents. I'm not sure exactly what we're going to get today, but we'll see what we can pick up. But we'll take you guys with us. had his PlayStation for about three years now, it'll be three years this Christmas, and the kid has only had one controller, and when he has his friends over, they can't play unless they bring his their controllers, and we're also looking at some other stuff, so I think we're going to probably end up getting him a controller, maybe a couple of other little things to go with it, and then we'll be done with him. <laughs> Christina's uh, niece, Brooklyn, has a birthday in December, and since our son's birthday is in December, we know what it's like to have a birthday around Christmas, so we're going to go find her a birthday present. We already got her a Christmas present, but we're going to make sure she gets to have a birthday present and a Christmas present, so we'll see what we're going to get her. And Look around here. We're having a little bit of a difficult time here because we have had a boy for 13 years, so trying to find something for a little girl that has. Uh, almost everything that, that she could want or need and yeah, that's not a bad thing that's a good thing but it makes finding a gift very difficult we're going to keep looking i think we're going to go check out the jewelry department see what we could find over there so after looking in the entire store and josh and i debating because i wanted one thing he was wanting another she's at that age where she's six she's not quite into the bigger st girl stuff, but she's not quite out of the little girly stuff, you know, the little kitty stuff. So we found a frozen watch that lights up. Hope she likes it. One problem shopping in a motorized wheelchair make sure you charge it the day before. I am completely out of battery power. It's so low, it says charge battery. So we're going to hope and pray that we can make it to the car. So let's see. Let's see, take a look. We are on empty. Well, here goes. Well, guys, we made it to the car, and I just got to tell you something. I'm one that really believes in guardian angels, and I'm telling you, we were praying the whole way out here to the car because we're parked pretty far out in the parking lot. And man, it was just times when we just felt like, like there was something pushing the chair because it was almost dead and it wasn't going anywhere. Yeah, we made it to the car. Hopefully, we're gonna be able to get in. But the Lord. 
got us this far. He's gonna get us another day. He's gonna go pick up Daniel. Well, I hope you had a great time hanging out with us as we were Christmas shopping. And as you can see, uh, when you're in a wheelchair, things can be a little unpredictable. And it's just a great joy and a great blessing to know that even through those things that uh, my faith is very important to me and we do believe that God works in the small things and it was really such a joy for us to uh, make it back to the car and not be stranded in the store with a dead battery. So I just want to encourage you to find, find those small things in your life where God is moving and God is working and find joy in those things. It's time for me to buzz off.